Now, President Museveni's good friend, who is also former minister in his government, want presidential term limits restored because the country has to move forward even after President Museveni. Stand by for the details. A very good morning. How are you doing today? It's a weekend. I hope that you are doing very okay. My name is Melad Milo, aka Fuller. And uh, in case it's your first time right on this platform, just subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. We're all about the current affairs, the entertainment industry, and anything that is trending in this amazing country, Uganda. I make sure that I put it to you right here. So what you have to do, just be part of the family 24-7. <music> Now, going to the details of the stories I have for you this morning. Now, Finance Minister Matia Kasaija, while appearing before the Parliamentary Committee for Finance this week, revealed that government has no funds to run the country. Kasaija said that what they have in the national coffers is insufficient to sustain the national economy. Now, Kasaija, in his own words, he said, We have no money to run the country. This work is hectic for me. I can't step down. I cannot resign as many of you have been asking me to. Some of you want me to resign because of the small mistakes I have made. I'm still needed by this country. Well, there you go. That is the Minister of Finance, Matia Kasaija. It should be remembered that up to now, Uganda, we don't have Governor Bank of Uganda. President Museveni hasn't appointed anyone ever since Professor Emmanuel Motebele passed on in January. I think President Museveni has decided to be the Governor Bank of Uganda himself. <laughs> anyway, that is on a lighter note. Well, in other news, a section of members of parliament this week tabled a proposal to have university degree as the minimum qualification for one to become a member of parliament and if this amendment is passed, it will start as soon as the next general election of 2026. However, a section of members of parliament have expressed dismay towards this proposal saying that it will exclude potential leaders who may not have a degree requirement. Now, this matter has been referred by the Speaker to the Ministry of Justice and Constitutional Affairs to introduce a bill to amend the Constitution. I don't know what you think about this proposal. Do you really think one should have a degree as minimum qualification for Member of Parliament? Anyway, in case you have anything on your mind, just put it down in the comment section. Now, in other news... Justice Simon Biabakama, the chairperson of the Uganda's Electoral Commission, has boasted that Uganda is better than Kenya when it comes to preparing and organizing national elections. Biabakama says, by now, Uganda wouldn't be waiting for who could be declared the winner, just as the electoral body of Kenya has done. Biabakama also put blame onto Ugandan opposition politicians like His Excellency Bobby Wine, Dr. Kiza Besije, and others whom he says have maliciously damaged the image of the country's democracy. Biabakama also stated that Ugandan politicians who think that an election is a war are the ones who put Uganda in a bad light. In other news, now, former Minister for Tourism, Horrible Godfrey Chiwanda, while appearing on BBS TV this week, said that Uganda, it is high time we start thinking about the restoration of presidential term limits because this is something that will give hope to Ugandans that at a certain point in time, someone will leave and someone else will come in just as it is happening in Kenya. Now, Chiwanda said that for a long time, the opposition in Uganda has complained about the future of this country after President Museveni, which is very true because in most countries where leaders have overstayed in power, the countries face a lot of challenges transiting to the next leaders with most of them just waiting to be forced out of power. Now, finally, Chiwanda said that it could therefore be in good faith for Uganda to learn from its past and restore the presidential term limits other than waiting for the bad days to happen again, just like in the 80s, where over 1 million people perished in the bush war and properties destroyed that led to the total breakdown of the country.
Wow, this is a very, very good point right here from uh, the former Minister of Tourism, Horrible Godfrey Chiwanda Sobi. You know, this is a discussion that very many people in this government have failed to start on, maybe because they fear President Museveni. But guys, you have to remember that President Museveni is not going to be here forever. So I also think that it's high time we start thinking about the future of this beautiful country, Uganda. Well, there you go. Those are some of the latest stories I got for you right now on The Buzz UG. And uh, my name is Melads Milo, a.k.a. Fula. As usual, this is The Buzz UG. And in case you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. It's a bye for now.